This Mets team, 8-1 is pretty good, EK. You come off a sweep of the Nationals. Will they never sweep there? Are you buying? You buying the Mets right now? Are they have staying power? Yeah, I, I think they're staying power. I, I, if there's any team that is susceptible to health, which everybody is, I, I think they're the most susceptible to it. Obviously, the pitching staff, you've got a lot of injury history there. And then, you know, the age of their, their everyday guys. You know, you have some guys that are over 30 years old. So, you know, like I said, every team deals with that. But those guys can stay healthy with that pitching staff. You know, this can be the quickest turnaround as far as what they had last year to this year. And that's why the, the hiring of, of Callaway as manager brilliant because that is a pitching coach and that's you know that's what this team is going to be based uh, on. for me Cespedes has to stay healthy majority of the year every year he seems to have an injury misses a ton of games him and that lineup it makes that lineup look like a postseason type team and it takes the power pressure off everybody else and everyone else can pick their spots like Jay Bruce and company and they can do what they can but they keep him in the lineup me as a starting pitcher that's the guy that I'm circling he cannot beat me and I have to pitch around him but once he goes down you see the offense go down and it puts more pressure on the pitching staff and it makes them have to pitch perfect and they start to make mistakes so it's a domino effect but he's the main guy in that lineup that needs to stay healthy so, to, to, to your point sorry he missed 73 games yeah. last year you got to have him yeah. well you got I mean, there's no right-handed power. I mean, he goes out, you're, you're cooking. I mean, you could say Frazier, but, you know, at least from the left-handed side, you know, you've got Bruce, you've got Conforto, you've got Gonzalez. You've got some threat, but if... if they might face a D-train, no. They might shoot. have to the left side and shut <laughs> well, them up. that's the thing. You, you lose Cespedes, it's no bueno. Yeah. Hey, how about the way... You talked about Callaway, the pitching coach. How about the way he's handling these guys? Syndergaard, look, he could throw 150 pitches and be fine. 90 pitches. Could have probably gone farther. He's like, you know, come on out, son. We'll take what you did. You like that? I, I do. And that, that's why I say that that hiring, you know, for the Mets where they were last year, if they could stay healthy with their pitching staff, they could, they could turn it around in one year. And that's why, you know, bringing Callaway from the Indians over, he knows pitchers. And he's going to err on the side of the pitchers, the health of the pitchers. You know, sometimes you get guys in there that, that you know, they aren't former pitching coaches or they're everyday guys, and they're like, why can't the guy warm up? Let's just get him <laughs> loose. Or what's wrong? Just throw back when I play. He's very cognizant of that, that health down there. All right. So, meanwhile, while well, the Mets flying high, the Nationals just got swept. The strange thing is though, their offense has not been bad. It's been horrendously bad. 159 batting average coming in, worse in the league in slugging, tied for 26 in runs. I don't think that pace will continue. But are we a little worried? They lost some guys in the offseason now. Is this... They have enough on offense, EK. I, I, they have enough. It, it, and it's early, right? Mm -hmm. And it's cold and all those sort of things. Obviously, Santana and, and Jay Bruce, they're going to miss those guys. Santana, for me, lengthened that lineup, saw a lot of pitches. So then, you know, other guys, they benefit from that. But I think Zimmer is going to be... He's going to have a breakout year this year. I think mm -hmm. he's going to separate himself. And Encarnacion, again, you know, Frank, Frank could tell you if he were here... He doesn't do anything in the cold, but when that, wa that weather gets warm, yeah, up. he's gonna be. Yeah, he's gonna be. <laughs> he was right. Yeah, so, yeah. Again, you know, Lindor. I, I, I don't, I don't worry, especially in that division too. I, I think they're gonna be fine. I just wish they kind of would have stayed in the sweep takes for Santana or Bruce, especially Bruce coming off one yeah. of his better years, and the, the, the number that he signed for wasn't really that high. So when you lose two guys like that, they might swing through some baseballs, but those guys are RBI getters year in and year out. And I agree with you, EK. They elongate that lineup and they take the pressure off it. You have one guy that switches and it's a left-handed bat that they need. So I think at the break and at the also break, they need to go get somebody to really kind of solidify that lineup. They'll they stay look, in the race. And they did last year, yeah. obviously, with Bruce. Bruce. They were a 500 team through May last year. They weren't a great starting team last year. And look at this historically bad offense through 10 games. EK, we talk about all these games me in the cold though can you just put that into words like I, oh it's cold it's cold but it, it, it's hard to judge hitting in that I'm talking 25 30 right so think of it this way you, when you go up to the plate I, I mean I'll, first of all when you're facing big league pitching and you're facing guys like Don Trail or guys that are throwing 95 you know it's like okay I got I got to motivate to get into this box well then now you add into the thing if I don't square it up I'm gonna be my hands are gonna be hurting like you would not <laughs> believe whether it's off the end of the bat or getting jammed or anything, if you don't hit it perfectly, your hands are... And they, they feel like they break. They, honest to goodness, feel like you can break your hands. There's nothing good about playing baseball yeah. in cold weather. Yeah, nothing. I think that's why a lot of these teams, a lot of these numbers are a little skewed right now. Oh. Plus, it's really, it's 10 games, 12 games into the season. That's the bottom line.